Welcome or welcome back on C-Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about rationalizing the denominator. In this case, we're going to have what I call binomial yeah? expression like this. So, how do we rationalize this uh, uh, expression? Right? We're going to use what we call the conjugate of your denominator, the model of your fraction. Here is 2 plus square root of 5, 2 minus square root of 5. So, again, the conjugate is different by just the sign. But we're going to put the same quantity uh, as a numerator at the top of the fraction. And if you see, you notice this is nothing else than the number 1. So then we're going to do the multiplication. 1 times 2 minus square root of 5 is going to be 2 minus square root of 5. What about the denominator, the bottom of the fraction? We can use a shortcut here. We're going to square, right? We have uh, a minus b, a plus b as a pattern. That will be a squared minus b squared. That is the shortcut here, even though we have this uh, irrational number. So we're going to square the 2, that will be 4. We're going to square the, the square root of 5, that will be 5. And the sign will be a minus. So we have here 2 minus square root of 5 over negative 1. The simplified form would be, obviously, square root of 5 minus 2. If we distribute that negative 1, we have as a denominator. Pause this video clip and try number 20. If you end up with this answer for number 20, you did a wonderful job. You notice I almost did a mistake. And, okay, so the conjugate of 3 minus square root of 7 is 3 plus square root of 7. Okay, what about a problem like this? Eh? This is kind of a tricky one, right? We have 2 square root of 5 minus 3. That will be negative 3 plus 2 square root of 5, right? So the conjugate will be negative 3 minus 2 square root of 5. Okay, uh, so we have 1 over negative 3 plus 2 square root of 5 times, and again we're going to use the conjugate, okay, and what do we have here? We have negative 3 squared, that will be positive 9, right? This, these two guys square, right? Uh, 2 square root of 5 squared, that will be 4 times 5. 2 times 2 is 4, right? 2 squared is 4, and square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. 4 times 5, 20. And this is a minus. And uh, about the numerators, the top of the fraction, we end up with negative 3 minus 2 square root of 5. And here we're going to have negative 3 minus 2 square root of 5 over negative 11, which is a good answer, uh, but you can simplify since we have so many negative signs there, distribute the negative from negative 11 or the negative from the negative 3 minus 2 square root of 5. Overall, we're going to end up with 3 plus 2 square root of 5 over 11. In fact, let me be sure, on this one you can also use, uh, you can do the problem using uh, 2 square root of 5 plus 3, okay? Yeah, you can multiply by this uh, 1 and you still get the same answer. Uh, pause this video clip and try number 22.
So if you end up with this sensor for number 22, you did a wonderful job. Uh, as you notice, I use a conjugate of 6 plus 3 square root of 2, which is 6 minus 3 square root of 2. Uh, and here we get an 18, right? And we notice 6 and 3. All these three numbers are divisible by 3. I factor out the 3 here to simplify the expression. No? So don't forget to simplify your expression to the simplest form. Let's take a look to number 23. Okay, so what will be the conjugate? The conjugate will be 3 minus 5 square root of 3. 3 minus 5 square root of 3. So again, uh, this is the expression you need to multiply the problem number 23. And let's see what we have. Uh, the denominator, the bottom of the fraction, 3 times 3 is 9, or 3 squared is 9, 5 squared root of 3 times 5 squared root of 3, that will be 25 times 3, 75 minus. And what about the numerator, the top of the fraction? Right? Foil that, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 5 squared root of 3 is 10 squared root of 3, don't forget the minus, and then we have 6 squared root of 2 times 3, that will be... 18 square root of 2, so don't forget also the minus, and let's do the last two gentlemen, uh, 6 square root of 2 and 5 square root of 3, we multiply these two, we get 30 square root of 6, and the sign is plus. Uh, more simplification here, we have, uh, uh, if it's possible, and not that much, not that much, we have 6 minus 10 square root of 3, minus 18 square root of 2, plus 30 square root of 6 over 9 minus 75 that is uh, 66 the only the only thing we can do here if we notice 66 6 18 30 all are divisible by by 2 so we can simplify by 2 so the final answer will be 3 minus 5 square root of 3 minus 9 square root of 2 plus 15 square root of 6 and here 33 has a denominator so again you can you can if you do not see that factor out the 2 from the top expression or numerator and uh, you can cancel that to over 2 in the 66 okay pause this video clip and try number 24 If you end up with this sensor for number 24, you do a wonderful job again. Not that much simplification is possible. In fact, no simplification of, at all. Uh, and that is the final answer. If you enjoy this video, please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and subscribe for more math video clips. Thank you.